Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome viewers to the sixth lecture of lecture series on integral differential equation under NPTEL course. Now in today's discussion we are going to discuss about Adomian decomposition method to solve the integral equation that is a special type of integral equation that we are considering in last few lectures that is Volterra integral equation of second kind. Of course, this Volterra integral equation of second kind is of non-homogeneous type. Now you can recall in last two lectures we have discussed about different methods for solving Volterra integral equation of second kind which are non-homogeneous equation using the methods first of all we have used the method that is known as successive successive approximation method. Then we have considered the Laplace transform method. And lastly, we have considered the series solution method. Among these three methods, the second method that is Laplace transform method deals with the problem where kernel of the integral equation satisfies a specific form that means when the kernel of the integral equation can be written into the form k x minus s that is the function of k x comma s two variable functions can be expressed as a single variable function say t where t is actually x minus s that means the entire kernel can be written as a uh, variable x minus s taking x and s together under this factor that is x minus s. So, this becomes a single variable function if x minus s is replaced by t if kernel satisfies this condition then Laplace transform method is applicable. Just for a quick recapitulation in case of successive approximation method what we have done this successive approximation method we have started with that uh, y 0 is equal to f x where the given equation is y x equal to f x plus lambda integral a to x k of x comma s y s d s where f x is continuous in this case a less than equal to x comma s less than equal to b this f x is continuous over the interval a comma b and k x comma s is also continuous over the square of length uh, sides of length b minus a that means over a region a comma b cross a comma b and partial derivative of k x comma s with respect to x is continuous over the same domain. Then first of all we started with y 0 equal to f x and you can recall that I have given some example and also mentioned instead of considering y 0 x equal to f x you may consider this equal to 0 that means initial 0th approximation as y 0 x equal to 0 or you may consider y 0 x equal to 1 or y 0 x equal to x. But in general we can follow for the time being that uh, y 0 x equal to f x as the 0th approximation. Then you can calculate y 1 x by substituting y 0 x onto the right hand side of this integral equation. So, that means this is equal to f x 
plus lambda times integral a to x k of x comma s y 0 s d s and as a general step we can write y n x is equal to f x plus lambda times integral a to x k x comma s y n minus 1 s d s and this result is valid for n greater than equal to 1 and also we have discussed in detail the convergence of this method. So, that means, at every step we are getting a refinement of the function y's. So, first of all we have started with y 0 x, then we have obtained y 1 x, then we can calculate y 2 x and in general we can calculate y n x. And of course, this sequence of function thus generated that is y n x, this sequence converges uniformly as we have discussed and if this sequence converges uniformly and if limit n tends to infinity y n x this is equal to y x then this limit function is actually solution of the given uh, Volterra integral equation. Now, in the second case that is in case of series solution method in case of series solution method we have assumed that solution of the integral equation can be obtained into the form that is y x is equal to summation n runnings from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n. So, that means it can be expressed as a power series of x and upon substitution this series into the integral equation we can get summation n runnings from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n this is the expression after replacing y on the left hand side. On the right hand side f x remains unaltered and then we can write lambda integral 0 to x k of x comma s summation n runnings from 0 to infinity c n s to the power n d s and from here assuming the convergence of the series we can interchange the summation and integral sign and we can write n equal to 0 to infinity c n integral 0 to x k of x comma s s n d s and from here collecting the coefficient of equal powers of x we can find out c 0, c 1, c 2 and so on and of course, equating some general term of the form either x to the power n or x to the power n plus 1 or x to the power n plus 2 as for your convenience from the both sides we can calculate the recurrence relations. After calculating this c 0, c 1, c 2 we can construct the series y x and if this series converges to a continuous function then that particular continuous function is a solution to the integral equation. So, in this case sequence of function uh, that is y n x converging to the solution in this case we are calculating c 0, c 1, c 2 and so on such that the summation n runnings from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n this converges to the solution of the given problem. Now, we are going to consider the method that is called Adomian decomposition method. By this Adomian decomposition method, we are going to solve this integral equation y x is equal to f x plus lambda integral a to x k of x comma s y s d s again where a less than equal to x comma s less than equal to b where b is a finite number. For the applicability of this method we need continuity of f x that is f x is continuous for all x belongs to a comma b and k x comma s 
this is continuous over the squared domain a b cross a b. If this condition is satisfied, then Adomian decomposition method is applicable. Now, what is this Adomian decomposition method? This Adomian decomposition method is uh, uh, first appeared in the area of solving ordinary differential equation, partial differential equation, integral equation as well as some nonlinear problems also, where the solution of y x is assumed to be into this summation format that is n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x. And here we are going to construct one iterative method such that after every step we will be having one terms resulting from the performance of the integration on the right hand side that one terms of this particular series such that this summation of the series converges to the solution of the given problem. Now, what is the method? First we will describe the method and after that I will be coming to the proof of the convergence of this infinite series. Method says that we assume this series converges that means there exists a solution for this problem and solution can be expressed as summation over n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x. We are not assuming any particular form of y n x that is the most important point that you have to understand here. In case of series solution method we have assumed this will be of the form n runnings from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n. So, that means a power series of x. Now, at this point we are not at all assuming any particular form for y n x only thing is that every each of them will be continuous. Secondly, in case of successive approximation method using the approximation of the last step we can get a further modification or better solution for the given problem by approximation step by step. Now, here we are going to find these functions y 0, y 1, y 2, y 3 and so on in a systematic manner such that upon summation of all these quantities we will be having solution to this problem. And of course, in due course of time I will explain what is the advantage of this method and also make a comparative study of this method with the other available methods. So, if we assume this y x equal to sigma n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x is a solution of this problem. So, that means this will satisfy this integral equation. So, if we substitute there then we can find n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x this is equal to f x plus lambda times summation n runnings from 0 to infinity integral a to x k of x comma s y n s d s. If we write the terms of this series explicitly then we can find y 0 x plus y 1 x plus y 2 x plus dot dot this infinite series is equal to f x plus lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y 0 s d s plus lambda times integral a 2 x k x comma s y 1 s d s plus lambda times integral a 2 x k x comma s y 2 s d s plus dot dot. Now, our target is to construct a iterative method such that with some initial guess for y 0 we can calculate y 1 x. Once we have obtained y 1 x then we can calculate y 2 x and so on. So, here we are assuming y x equal to f x directly this y x y 0 x equal to f x. Now, if we equate this as term by term. So, first term on the left hand side is equal to first term on the right hand side. Then second term on the left hand side is equal to second term 
on the right hand side proceeding in this way we can get these results that is y 1 x is equal to lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y 0 s d s then third term on the left hand side is y 2 x is equal to lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y 1 s d s proceeding in this way the general term y n x this is equal to lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y n minus 1 s d s and here n this is greater than equal to 1 because this recursive formula is valid for n equal to 1 and onwards that means y 1 x y 2 x all these uh, iterates can be obtained from the general formula by substituting n equal to 1 2 3 and so on only there is separate definition for y 0 x. Now, before going to consider any particular example we will be considering the convergence of this method. So, we have started with the assumption that y 0 x equal to f x you can calculate y 1 x because for the given problem kernel x comma s is known. So, substituting y 0 s here we can calculate y 1 x then y 2 x can be calculated upon substituting y 1 s here. So, proceeding in this way you can get every iterates and hence the solution to the given problem is given by y x is equal to sigma n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x. This will be a closed form of function depending upon the problem and if we are unable to identify any function in the closed form corresponding to this infinite sum that is y 0 x plus y 1 x plus y 2 x plus dot dot up to infinity then we have to leave the solution as it is that appeared from the step by step approximation. Now, we consider the convergence of this problem. You can recall that we have assumed that f x is continuous. We have assumed that f x is continuous over the closed interval a comma p and k x comma s this is continuous over the squared domain a b cross a b both of these are actually closed sets. So, these continuous functions they are continuous over the closed sets. So, there exist two positive constants l 1 and l 2 such that f x less than equal to l 1 and modulus of k x comma s less than equal to l 2 this result is valid for all x and s ranging in this particular range from a to b. Now, with this assumption you can recall f x is continuous. So, if f x is continuous, so first quantity that we are getting for uh, the series of involved with Adomian decomposition method this is a continuous function y 0 x is continuous function. Further this y 0 x satisfies this criteria that modulus of y 0 x is equal to modulus of f x which is less than equal to l 1. Now, definition for y 1 x this was lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s multiplied by uh, y 0 s d s. So, taking modulus we can write modulus of y 1 x that is equal to modulus of lambda integral a 2 x k of x comma s y 0 s d s this modulus 
then taking modulus inside the integral sign we can write modulus y 2 x this is less than equal to modulus lambda integral a 2 x modulus of k x comma s modulus of y 0 s d s and using the bounds for this y 0 x is less than equal to l 1 this modulus and modulus k x comma s that is modulus of the kernel is less than equal to l 2. So, using these results we can find modulus lambda l 1 l 2 integral a 2 x d s and this is equal to modulus lambda l 1 l 2 x minus a. Similarly, calculating sorry I made one mistake here this will be y 1 x. Then y 2 x modulus as usual it will be less than modulus lambda integral a 2 x modulus k of x comma s then modulus y 1 s d s and this is less than equal to modulus lambda just uh, be careful about here modulus k of x comma s is less than equal to l 2 and modulus y 1 s this is less than equal to this quantity. So, ultimately we get modulus lambda whole square l 1 l 2 integral a 2 x s minus a d s because here x is greater than a and within this integral we can recall that a less than equal to s less than equal to x. So, we can withdraw modular sign from x minus a when it is coming under this integral sign. So, after performing the integration it is coming out to be l 1 modulus lambda whole square l 2 square x minus a whole square divided by 2. Similarly, for modulus y 3 x we can calculate this is less than equal to modulus lambda then integral a 2 x modulus k of x comma s modulus y 2 s d s and after performing this integration and substituting this limit we can find this will be less than equal to l 1 times modulus lambda whole cube l 2 cube x minus a whole cube whole divided by factorial 3. This will be the bound for modulus y 3 x. So, in general we will be able to prove that modulus y n x this is less than equal to l 1 times modulus lambda whole to the power n l 2 to the power n x minus a whole to the power n divided by factorial n this is the modulus for y n x. And now we can recall that result we have assumed a less than equal to x less than equal to b. So, with this range for x we can write modulus y 0 x as usual less than equal to l 1 that we have obtained at the very first step from the assumption on f x. Then from general term modulus y n x this is less than equal to l 1 times modulus lambda whole to the power n l 2 to the power n x minus a to the power n by factorial n this is less than equal to l 1 times modulus lambda whole to the power n l 2 to the power n. Now, this x is always less than equal to b. So, therefore, 
b minus a whole to the power n divided by factorial n. This result is for n equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, for this entire range it is valid and therefore, summation n runnings from 0 to infinity modulus of y n x we can write this is less than equal to L 1 plus summation n runnings from 1 to infinity L 1 modulus lambda whole to the power n L 2 to the power n x minus a whole to the power n by factorial n and taking L 1 common we can write this is equal to L 1 times e to the power modulus lambda L 2 b minus a. So, that means the summation of the modulus of the terms of y j x these are uniformly bounded and this bound is free from x term. So, that means the series summation n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x converges uniformly. So, this is actually the proof of the uniform convergence of the series sigma n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x. So, based upon the continuity of the function f x and continuity of the kernel x uh, k x comma s, we can prove that this series of uh, adomian polynomials these y n x sometimes called as adomian polynomials, the summation of these adomian polynomials converges to the function y x uniformly which is a continuous function because from the every step you can easily verify that once y 0 x equal to f x is continuous then f y 1 x will be continuous upon evaluating the integral. Similarly, substituting y 1 x into the formula you can get y 2 x is continuous. So, every y n x is continuous and also they are uniformly bounded. So, this proves the uniform convergence of the series to a continuous function and if we call this particular continuous function as capital Y x then Y x is equal to capital Y x is the solution of the targeted problem. Now, we consider one example to understand this method. So, we consider this example, this example already we have considered earlier also using different methods to solve it, but again I am considering this problem in order to make a comparative study. So, this is x minus s y s d s. So, as per the method that we just discussed y 0 x equal to f x equal to x because x is the non homogeneous part and then applying the formula we can find y 1 x this is equal to minus integral 0 to x x minus s s d s and after integration it will be x into x square by 2 plus x cube by 3. So, that is equal to minus x cube divided by 2 into 3 and calculating the third term that is y 2 x this will be minus integral 0 to x x minus s then y 1 s is minus s cube by this. So, minus s cube divided by 2 into 3 d s and this will results in after some calculation that x to the power 5 by factorial 5 and just one more iterates you can calculate it will be minus integral 0 to x x minus s s to the power 5 by factorial 5 d s it will results in minus x to the power 7 by factorial 7. So, y x is going to be this summation n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x. So, this is sum of the term x minus 
x cube by factorial 3 plus x to the power 5 by factorial 5 minus x to the power 7 by factorial 7 plus dot dot up to infinity and you can easily recall this is the series that is sin x. So, sin x is a solution of this equation that we just obtain using the Adomian decomposition method. Now, just for a comparative study you can recall that when we are going to solve this problem or we have solved this problem by successive approximation method. For successive approximation method of the same problem, we have obtained y 0 x is equal to x, y 1 x this is equal to x minus x cube by factorial 3, y 2 x this was x minus x cube by factorial 3 plus x to the power 5 by factorial 5 and so on. So, in this case we have to integrate this entire function evaluated in terms of or written in terms of s and substituting into the integrand pre multiplying it by x minus s and ranging from 0 to x we have obtained the third approximation. But in case of Adobean decomposition method the labor of integration is comparatively less as we have adopted in the case of successive approximation method. So, instead of getting some extra terms at each iterates these y 0, y 1, y 2 up to y n then sequence y n x converges to the solution, but in case of Adomian decomposition method we are getting each terms that is x minus x cube by factorial 3 plus x to the power 5 by factorial 5 at every steps of the iteration. And once we solve the same problem with the help of series method, series solution method then uh, little bit of difficulty was to construct the general nth term, general nth term to construct the recursive formula. And for that recursive formula you can recall we have used this result y x is assumed to be summation n running from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n and after substitution we have obtained c 0 plus c 1 x plus c 2 x square plus dot dot this was equal to x minus c 0 x square by 2 minus c 1 x cube by 2 into 3 minus c 2 x to the power 4 by 3 into 4 minus dot dot and with some initial conditions we have obtained c 0 equal to c 2 equal to c 4 all these quantities are exactly equal to 0 and then these results are obtained with help of this recursive relation that is c n plus 2 equal to minus c n by n plus 1 multiplied with n plus 2, but this recursive relation was not valid for some initial steps that is from where we have calculated c 0 equal to 0 and c 1 equal to 1. And with these iterates we have calculated that c 1 this is equal to 1, c 3 is equal to minus 1 by factorial 3 and c 5 is equal to 1 by factorial 5 and so on and then substituting into the series we have obtained the same solution. So, this is actually prominent difference between the two methods. Now, there are some limitations of this method. It is not true that every problem it would be better to use Adomian decomposition method to obtain the solution. In order to understand the problem that may arise to apply this Adomian decomposition method, here we consider one more example. Suppose we have to solve this problem y x this is equal to 1 plus x e to the power x minus integral 0 to x s y s d s. This is the given problem. So, clearly the non-homogeneous part f x is equal to 1 plus x e to the power x. As per described method here y 0 x is equal to 1 plus x 
e to the power x and then if we going to calculate y 1 x minus integral of 0 to x s into 1 plus s e to the power s t s this one and you can clearly understand one part can be evaluated very easily that is the first part x square by 2, but for the second part we need the repeated application of the bypass integration that is a square e to the power s d s. And if we evaluate this integral completely then we can find this will be x square by 2 minus with bypass integration it will be a square e to the power s because first step we have to keep a square unaltered that is this is u this is v. So, by integrating e to the power s a square e to the power s minus 2 it will be integral of s e to the power s and after integration it will be s e to the power s and then plus 2 e to the power s this limit 0 to x and after substituting the limit we can find this will be 2 minus x square by 2 minus x square e to the power x plus 2 x e to the power x minus 2 e to the power x. Now, from this expression now you can clearly understand it will be very difficult to calculate y 2 x with this as the integrand. So, we have to be very much careful for the choice of the particular method with which we are going to solve this equation. So, in this case the standard Adomian decomposition method is not giving us very easy way to obtain the solution of this problem. Now, this Adomian decomposition method is uh, modified further that is called modified Adomian decomposition method and this particular method is applicable for the problems like suppose we have to solve this problem y x is equal to sec square x plus 1 minus e to the power 10 x multiplied with x plus integral 0 to x x e to the power 10 s y s d s where x is less than pi by 2. Now, in this problem if we choose this entire quantity that is sec square x plus 1 minus e to the power 10 x into x as f x then again it would be very difficult to apply the Adomian decomposition method. So, in this case we have to use the modified Adomian decomposition method. This modified Adomian decomposition method says the target equation is y x equal to f x plus lambda integral a to x k of x comma s y s d s a less than equal to x comma s less than equal to b. We are intended to get solution into this form n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x modification is that we have to divide f x into two parts f 1 x plus f 2 x. This decomposition means that sometimes we have to take f 1 x consist of one or two terms such that the integration in the successive steps will be very much easier. And just for a quick reference you can have a look at this expression this integral equation under this integral sign contains x e to the power 10 s times y s d s. So, variable of integration is s. So, we can take x outside. So, in this case if we having this y s as sec square s which is already present here in terms of x. So, then it will be very easy to integrate this in, uh, evaluate this integral. So, for this kind of problem here f x can be divided into two parts such that other iterates can be obtained very easily. So, we have to decompose f x into two parts as f 1 x 
plus f 2 x and then we have to substitute into the expression that we have described earlier. And if we substitute there, so we will be having terms like y 0 x plus y 1 x plus y 2 x plus dot dot this is equal to f 1 x plus f 2 x plus lambda times integral a 2 x k x comma s y 0 s d s plus lambda times integral a 2 x k x comma s y 1 s d s plus dot dot and here we have to equate y 0 with f 1 x then y 1 x is equal to f 2 x plus the first integral um, uh, appeared on the right hand side and then y 2 x equal to as we have adopted earlier that is lambda times integral a 2 x k x comma s y 1 s d s and so on. So, that means in the modified Adomian decomposition method the iterates will be y 0 x is equal to f 1 x y 1 x this will be equal to f 2 x plus lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y 0 s d s and then y 2 x is equal to lambda times integral a 2 x k x comma s y 1 s and then other higher iterates will be similar. So, that means it will be a 2 x k x comma s y 2 s d s in this way. So, that means general iterates will be y n x is equal to lambda integral a 2 x k x comma s y n minus 1 s d s. Now, here this iterated formula is valid for n greater than equal to 2. So, that means if we combine this results for modified Adomian decomposition method. So, first iterate y 0 x is equal to f 1 x y 1 x is equal to f 2 x plus lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y 0 s d s and then general iterate y n x that is equal to lambda times integral a 2 x k of x comma s y n minus 1 s d s where n greater than equal to 2. So, this is the actually uh, compact form of the uh, Adomian decomposition method that is of modified type. Now, with this method we solve this problem with which we have started this discussion on modified decomposition method. So, given problem was y x is equal to sec square x plus 1 minus e to the power tan x multiplied with x plus integral 0 to x x e to the power tan s y s d s. So, we are assuming that f 1 x this is equal to sec square x and f 2 x this is equal to 1 minus e to the power tan x this multiplied with x. So, with this f 1 and f 2, so our first component y 0 x is equal to sec square x and interestingly if we calculate y 1 x. So, this will be 1 minus e to the power tan x this multiplied with x plus integral 0 to x x e to the power tan s multiplied with sec square s d s. Now, here the variable of integration is s. So, we can take this x outside the integral sign and then assuming this tan s equal to u this integral will be reduced to integral e to the power u du. So, then after evaluating the integral 
we can find 1 minus e to the power 10 x multiplied with x plus x e to the power 10 s this limit will be from 0 to x. So, after evaluating you can find this 10 x multiplied by x plus x e to the power 10 x minus 1. So, this is exactly equal to 0. So, once this y 1 x is exactly equal to 0. So, immediately you can understand that y 2 x, y 3 x and so on all these components are exactly equal to 0 and therefore, y x that is assumed to be n running from 0 to infinity y n x this is nothing but simply y 0 x is equal to 6 square x this is actually solution of the given problem. So, that means, if we going to apply any other method it would be very difficult to find solution of this particular integral equation. You can verify with yourself by the method of successive approximation that will be little bit problematic because with this entire expression if we assume this as y 0 x then it will be little bit difficult to calculate y 1 x and so on. Series solution you can clearly understand that is difficult because this integrand involve e to the power 10 s. So, there is no possibility to obtain this integral in a closed form uh, apart from this applying some iterative formula or some reduction formula. So, best possible way to solve this integral equation is the modified Adomian decomposition method. So, you have to keep in mind that based upon the given problem you have to choose the method appropriately. Before coming to the end of today's lecture we can look at the convergence of this method. In this case we have assumed that f x can be expressed as summation of two functions f 1 x and f 2 x. So, again these two functions are actually continuous functions k x comma s this is continuous over the square a b cross a b. So, we are assuming that modulus of f 1 x this is less than equal to l 1 1 modulus of f 2 x this is less than equal to l 1 2 and modulus of k x comma s this is less than equal to l 2. So, what will going to happen in the successive steps? First step modulus of y 0 x that is less than equal to sorry it will be exactly equal to modulus of f 1 x and this is less than equal to l 1 1 then modulus of y 1 x this is equal to modulus of f 2 x plus integral a 2 x with lambda k x comma s y 0 s d s this is less than equal to modulus of f 2 x plus modulus of lambda integral a 2 x modulus of k x comma s modulus of y 0 s this d s and this will be less than equal to l 1 2 plus modulus of lambda l 1 1 l 2 times x minus a. Just have a look at this expression here modulus k of x minus s this is less than equal to l 2 this modulus of y 0 s this will be less than equal to l 1 1. So, ultimately it will results in modulus lambda l 1 1 into l 2 multiplied by x minus a. Similarly, modulus of y 2 x this is equal to modulus of lambda integral 
a 2 x k of x comma s multiplied by y 1 s d s which is less than equal to modulus lambda integral a 2 x modulus of k x comma s modulus of y 1 s d s this is less than equal to modulus lambda l 2 integral a 2 x modulus of l 1 2 plus modulus lambda l 1 1 l 2 times s minus a this modulus d s and after applying this modulus uh, that is mod of this is less than equal to uh, modulus of l 1 1 plus this quantity and l 1 1 is positive. So, ultimately you will be having that modulus of uh, l lambda into l 2 times l 1 2 multiplied by x minus a plus modulus lambda l 1 1 l 2 x minus a whole square divided by 2. So, we are having one particular terms of the form that is l 1 1 l 2 modulus lambda x minus a this is coming from here and here we will be having this modulus lambda l 1 2 it will be l 2 square modulus x minus a whole square by 2. So, in this way if you calculate modulus of y 3 x it will be less than equal to modulus lambda whole square l 1 2 multiplied with l 2 square then x minus a this whole square divided by 2 plus modulus lambda whole cube l 1 1 l 2 cube x minus a whole cube divided by factorial 3 this will be l 1 1. So, in this way you will be having modulus of y n x is summation of these two and afterwards you will be able to prove that summation n runnings from 0 to infinity modulus of y 1 x this will be actually less than equal to l 1 1 plus l 1 2 e to the power l 2 modulus lambda times b minus a this is the result and therefore, this uh, sequence uh, some of the series is uniformly convergent and this solution is given by y x is equal to sigma n runnings from 0 to infinity y n x. So, this is the final solution of the given problem. So, we have started with the Adomian decomposition method where we have assumed the solution into this form y x equal to summation n runnings from 0 to n y n x and with the definition of the first iterate y 0 x equal to f x and then y n x equal to lambda integral a to x k x comma s y n minus 1 s d s n greater than equal to 1 we have obtained this is method is called the Adomian decomposition method and then we have considered one example where we have seen that it is difficult to carry out the calculations for y 0, y 1 and etcetera if we use the standard Adomian decomposition method. So, we can uh, adopt the modified Adomian decomposition method to solve this kind of problems and before coming to the end just for a quick example you can consider this one that y x is equal to x cube minus x to the power 5 plus 5 integral 0 to x s y s d s. If you just have a uh, clever look at this problem, so if we are able to substitute here y s equal to s cube, so after integration it will produce an x to the power 5. So, in this case again the modified Adomian decomposition method is very useful. So, f 1 equal to x cube 
if you use this is equal to y 0 s. So, y 1 s will be equal to minus x to the power 5 plus 5 integral 0 to x s into s cube d s this is equal to 0 because this will result in x to the power 5 by 5. So, minus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 5 equal to 0. So, y 2 s and other uh, expressions y 3 s all of them will be identically equal to 0. So, easily you can find y x equal to x cube this is a solution for this problem. So, today I can stop at this point.